The Lord says, "I never knew you. This bride is not my bride." Trumpet call of God. June seventh, two thousand and ten, from Yahushua Hamashiach, he who is called Jesus the Christ. Our Lord and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy and Chase, for all those who have ears to hear. Regarding someone who claimed to be speaking for the Lord, saying, "If the churches do not repent, my spirit will soon be removed." Thus says the Lord, "It is taken already." Therefore, this man has spoken presumptuously in the name of the Lord, for my spirit is removed from the high-minded and from every church who has forsaken me for their own way. Behold, my anger has come up into my face because of my jealousy, says the Holy One of Israel, for my people have turned from me. Yea, they have forsaken their king, and all those I have sent to them. Lo, they have cast them off with great and bitter arrogance, saying, "We are the true bride; we have no need of messengers. The prophets are dead. Let us alone, so we may return to our slumber. The Lord delays His coming, and our knowledge reigns over wisdom. Let us alone." Therefore, this bride is not my bride; she is a harlot, reveling in every unclean thing, an estranged woman chasing after the traditions of men. Churches of men, who is the Lord? Tell me if you know, who is your Lord? Behold, I came unto you, yet you did not recognize me. I had poured out my spirit. Even upon all flesh, yet you did not receive of me. I spoke to you many times, saying, "Repent, tear down all these walls built by human hands, and return to me. Sell all your riches and seek out the poor and the needy, and give them double." Yet you refused to hear me, nor would you give heed. Beloved, what do I see? Hardened hearts. Great pride and arrogance. Therefore, I shall come down to you quickly, and snatch from you all my little fireflies, and I shall take from you your children, of whom you have fed regurgitated food, false doctrines, and heresies, in my name. Yea, all those among your flocks whose hearts are true, in whom I find no guile, shall be lifted up. In spite of their error, they shall surely come to sup from my table in the house of the Lord, for their places are prepared. For I search the hearts and the minds, says the Lord, and I, even I, shall steal them away. And you, O men in authority, who have become great in your own eyes, you shall be left to your buildings and to all your fancy apparel. To all your riches, which you had sought after to worship, false glory. Churches of men, you look nothing like me, nor do you really know me. And what of all these riches? Are they able to keep you from the day of my hot displeasure? No, for they have become shackles about your feet. You are given up and left to refinement, stripped of all your clothes, left to the world which you have loved more than me, a world which shall hate you, in which you shall serve. For pride has blinded your eyes, and arrogance did stop your ears. Therefore, my hand shall be hard upon you, and you shall be humbled. 
even severely abased for your haughtiness, which you have wrought in my name, sowing false seeds in my garden. For by no other means shall you come to know me as I really am. By no other means shall you be lifted up. For it is the humble, penitent man who shall see God. Therefore, thus says the Lord of glory, Come out from among them, my people, and humble yourselves before your God, and I will yet receive you. Wait no longer, for the door is closing and must be shut. Even so, Amen.